William Shakespeare had said, the world's a stage and all men and women are merely players. This statement implies that this word is actually synonymous to a large stage and the men and women are merely players who just come out and, uh, and come in any time they want and the, uh, and the person who controls them is none other than the Almighty. A warm welcome to one and all viewing this video. This is actually the beginning of a series of videos and this series is termed Human Analogy. So let me start off by introducing this series before I go on to the first part. First of all, what is Human Analogy? Human Analogy is actually relating, different, relating our day-to-day -day experiences with the human body and mind. So, in these videos, I am going to relate probably studies or whatever we look around ourselves. I am going to try and relate that with our thinking, with our ways of doing things. And that is how we will be able to understand concepts better. So, that is the main motive of my putting up these videos. The next thing I want to mention is that the human body is a very, very dynamic thing. Changes are taking place at a rapid rate in the human body. And it is said that any discovery is made only after testing it with the human body. Along with that, it is also said that the human body is the, the, uh, the place from where any discovery is generated. What I mean to say is that for any discovery to take place, for any invention to take place, Scientists will always take into consideration the human body first. What the changes which take place in human body will first be taken into consideration before inventing anything. So this is what is the essence of, uh, of human living. And that is why I am going to try and relate our studious uh, material with the human body. So let me start off with our first theme and that is chemistry of life. We humans are actually here to perform, uh, to perform our deeds. We are sent uh, down from the, uh, from by the Almighty to perform some special deeds for some special reason. And we need to try and carry out, uh, carry out our work very efficiently. We need to have a positive attitude, uh, a good, a good moral values. We need to also uh, imbibe in ourselves good, uh, good characters so that people recognize us. Now here uh, I am going to just try and relate chemistry with the human mind and human psychology. What is the basic unit of chemistry? It is an atom. And an atom consists of three subatomic particles. They are the protons, electrons and the neutrons. The protons are the positively charged particles. The neutrons are the neutrally charged particles. And the electrons are the negatively charged particles. It is also said that the, uh, the, the nucleus of the atom contains the mass of the atom and the nucleus consists of the protons and the neutrons. Now we all living beings are like small atoms in this world. We all are here just to, to make ourselves bigger and that is our main motto in life. So neutrons and protons which are in the nucleus of an atom actually depict our positive, our positive attitude. The protons depict the potential we have inside us. That is the biggest gift given to us by God. It is the potential which is there within us. It is the, the huge amount of energy which is there inside us, which is what determines us as individuals. And we need to try and put up that potential to the best. What about the neutrons? The neutrons somewhat balance the protons and the electrons and the neutrons depict our moral values. They depict us as people. They depict our attitude, how we go about things, how, uh, how we do our work. Do we do it in a positive manner? Do we follow ethics while doing work? Do we do it with strong morals? Are we moralistic people? This is determined by the neutrons. And what about the electrons? Electrons are actually uh, symbolic to the negative attitude in us. If you would notice, you would see that electrons are present in a very small quantity in an atom. 
major part of the atom is concentrated with protons and neutrons and electrons has very little, have very little space and that is why electrons uh, are, are, have been related to the negative attitude because we as people have very very less negative qualities we must just try to remove those negative qualities and bring in other uh, other good qualities like uh, what happens while giving away at uh, uh, while giving away electrons and taking electrons from other atoms that means we must try and imbibe good qualities from others we must not try and imbibe bad but good qualities from our from other people from our neighbors or maybe our friends or relatives and in that manner we will grow as people so that is why that that is how protons electrons and neutrons can be related to human life who knows maybe before inventing the different models of atom maybe ernest rutherford or j j thompson might have thought about this idea of you of human analogy before putting forth their their models we don't know but this is certainly a beautiful way to relate our life with the structure of an atom which is the smallest particle in this universe and we as humans are uh, are also a very small part of this universe there are other living creatures but to make our presence felt we need to perform good deeds and if all of us perform good deeds together this world will certainly rise and we will certainly have a bright future ahead so thank you so much and uh, i am certainly await the next few videos which i'll put up thank you